There we go. Done. I told you I'd do it. <laughs> I have coloured in the train. Uh, the only thing, Harry, is that the other end needs to be pointing that way. Obviously. It's pointing in the wrong direction, so... And I've gone and coloured in the wrong side. I should have coloured in that side, maybe. And that would look better. Let's see if we can stretch... Oh, gosh, it is big, isn't it? We're going to have to put it on some very, very tight radius curves, I think. There we go. How about that? <laughs> but um, I've even included a uh, first-class coach. There we go. Denoted by the yellow bar across the top. I think that's how they do it. I'm not too sure. You don't get to see much first Great Western around Cheshire. But I think I've got that right. So please do let me know. Um, so yeah, I've done what I said I would do. I've coloured them all in for you, Harry. And I will now put those into my collection. Um, or if you want them back, and you want me to like uh, string them together or something, just get in touch and let me know. Uh, right. So I'm just going to put these to one side. <sighs> okay, so we've got another seven items today. Um, I'll just do English for today, but hey, leave a suggestion as to what language you'd like me to do it in next week and I'll, I'll learn it and try and try to do my best. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven items. This I'm very interested by. Uh, I think it's a loco of some sort. And then there's definitely a couple of locos in this one that has come from America, all the way from US of A. Okay, so first up we've got uh, an envelope here that's come from Manchester. Oh, look at that writing. It looks like it's um, probably a kid. Let's have a look. So here we go. On really thick card, and I had to use a million post-it notes to cover up the person's uh, contact details. It says, Dear IC2, hello again. My name is Thomas Reeds. Hello again. Maybe he's already sent something in. Uh, A.K.A. Brian Pannier, as that is my uh, now my YouTube name. Okay. Um, I wanted to give you an update on my projects. The Engage projects, me and my friend Nathan now have now got on board, uh, got one board complete with track and scenery, and now we are working on the second board from the fiddle yard to the main section at the front. Sounds good. Do a video on it. Uh, send me the link. The colliery layout, the colliery, collier, gosh, I can't get my words out today. The colliery layout. This layout is now going to be both DCC and DC, as the main section will be DCC and the shuttle line at the back will be DC. Now I just need to find an auto tank and auto coaches. There has also been an increase in locomotives, as, in, as now the Sentinel, the J94, an LMS Class 11, a Fowler 4F, and a Class 06 Shunter, sorry that was my phone, which I have repainted into black on the body and cab, and yellow on the buffer beam. I've also made a Lego layout, wow, with Nathan, and we used that as our club model, uh, at our club's model railway show earlier. I have also, I almost have a full wall train, but sadly I'm missing the dining car. I've also made a new DC layout, which includes the Hornby electronic turntable. I have not been able to come up with a name for the layout, and I was wondering if you could think of a name. <laughs> um, I did actually have an idea for a really cool little app, which would, like, think of names for you. But I, I, I really don't know. It took me ages to come up with a name for my layout. But my advice would be to go out and visit local railway lines and look for inspiration that way. Go over to Wales or into Yorkshire and look at stations and stuff and I'm sure you'll come up with a name somehow. Um, and I love the DCC slash DC hybrid thing, that's what I'm doing as well. At the flick of a switch I can just make the layout one or the other. Um, and then he says, one of my loco is the Flying Scotsman and one of my club members called Richard said he would help me make a water tender for Flying Scotsman as so I've been obsessed with finding one but now I can make one with the help of Richard. I'll also be buying a twin tender Flying Scotsman and the A4s as well. The Great Western Main Line on Train Sim 2015 and then it will be able to have it as a model and add an, an add-on for Train Simulator. Thank you for reading my first letter as well. Ah, uh, he must have sent something in a while ago then. Uh, from Thomas Reeds, age 14. Please, would you subscribe to me on YouTube? <laughs> well, uh, I'll check out your YouTube channel. In fact, yes, apologies. I have now put the links in on the previous video. So if you go to last week's mailroom, video, uh, mailbox video, you'll see the links underneath for the people's channels. Um, I forgot to do that, so I am sorry, but yeah, I will check out your channel, and if it's cool and I like the videos, then yeah, I'll subscribe. So thank you very much for sending that in and giving me an update. It sounds good. Keep it going. Definitely keep it going, and do some videos. Uh, send me some videos. I'd love to see some videos. Okay, so next up, we've got this beastie. This has come from... Oh. I don't know. Okay, well, it's come from somewhere, obviously. <laughs> well done, Will. You should be a detective. 
Oh, actually, it looks like a coach. I thought it was a locomotive. I have already opened this, because everything, everything has to get checked, and all personal details are, we can recycle that, all personal details are covered up, but I did that over a week ago, so I think I've forgotten. Okay, so yeah, that's, those are his contact details. Gosh, um, let's have a quick look at what's inside here. Um, I do have a knife somewhere. Ah, here we go. Right, again, be careful, kiddies, if you're gonna use something like this. Um, I am a trained professional, he lied. Uh, there we go, just nice and gently. Gosh, wow. I mean, it's a beautiful, but a very grubby coach. Look at that. It's like it's naturally been weathered. <laughs> Look, seriously. It's like it's one of those that's been parked up in the sidings or of a heritage line for years, for decades. Metal wheels though, which is good. Um, he will. His name is Tom. Dear Will, my name's Tom and I'll be turning 27 in November. Gosh, 27. I have a nickname, the Blue Fox. Kind of long story behind how I got that one. I don't think you'll really need me to tell, at least for the moment. I wish a lot of people, uh, sorry, as with a lot of people who write in or send you stuff, I'm a pretty big fan of your channel and I've watched quite a few of your videos. I especially enjoy your Minecraft Let's Build Thomas series, that's quite amusing. Uh, is Lady Fastshot your girlfriend or something? Just curious. <laughs> no, she's just a friend, a very, very good friend. Uh, in fact, I think I've, yeah, I think she's my longest friend. I think I've known her for like most of my life, basically. Um, I also enjoyed the Engage project. That was a cool idea. Nice to see a real practical use for railway modelling. Your detailed reviews are also quite good to watch, and I enjoy watching each train you look at go around the conservatory with the backdrop of your world-famous skirting board. Yeah, it is. It's a heritage site. Can't touch it. I can't wait to see your proper model railway layout when you finally get around to showing it on your channel. I'm sure it will be awesome. When, when I was very, very young, I had a simple doubler gauge, two-track loop layout with Thomas the Tank Engine and Percy on it in my bedroom. Oh, I think most of us did. Thomas came with Annie and Clarabel, of course, and Percy had some troublesome trucks in the brake van. Obviously, just a simple kiddies layout for me to play with and spark a lifelong interest in railway modelling. I'm sure that's the kind of story you always love to hear, and I'll bet you're a big supporter of getting kids involved because they tend to get hooked instantly. Along with this layout, I also had a rather random out-of-place express carriage. Ah! I think he means this one. Uh, I, I believe my dad got from somewhere. I have no idea where. It would be more suited for a model uh, for a model Gordon to pull round rather than Thomas or Percy, but when you're young it doesn't matter, so I added it with Annie and Clarabel to increase the passenger capacity on Thomas's train. <laughs> I think that is brilliant. Um, in fact, there's a rolling stock shortage in the UK, isn't there? I mean, we're short of locos, we're short on coaches, but uh, hypocritically, uh, conversely, um, crazily, there are just sidings full of the stuff everywhere and it's not being used. So it's really, really bizarre. Uh, because of my youth, I didn't really know how to properly look after model trains and over time, poor Thomas and Percy got a bit wrecked. They started falling apart and eventually the whole layout had to come up to make room for the fact that I was growing up and getting bigger. Suffice to say, all that survives of my humble, simple little Thomas and Percy loop um, is, the out, is this out of place express carriage and even that hasn't survived completely unscathed as you'll probably notice right away. It's missing a tension lock coupling, okay, um, and a buffer at one end. Now, the way I remember it lost those when I was playing on the carpet. Yes, I know, cardinal sin. I was young, forgive me. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it, Tom. Everyone starts on the carpet, and, and I, I mean, the conservatory layout is still on the floor. Um, and my mum was walking around and not looking where she was going, and she actually trod on it and broke the tension hook. Oh dear. And the buffer, clean off. It's also missing a buffer at the other end. I have no recollection of how it lost that. Maybe it just randomly came loose, I don't know. There's also a couple of scratches on the side, and suffice to say, it's definitely seen better days. Oh yes, I see, yeah. I'd really appreciate if Crewworks could fix it up for me. Good as new, or as close to new as it can get. <laughs> okay. If you want to do anything else with it once it's fixed up, like a quick review or whatever, feel free. But I would like it back when you're done, as I'd love to see it used in a future home layout that I'll have one day. It'll maybe a little something to help me remember my youthful roots in railway modelling. There's no deadline or anything, I'm in no rush to get it back. It may be quite a while before I have enough room for an adult layout. Well, thanks Tom. Uh, that's, that's useful to know because Crew Works is really, really busy at the moment. So it could be a while until we look at it for you. But I will contact you directly and get in touch regarding uh, getting some work done on the coach. We've not had much uh, rolling stock in the form of coaches and wagons. Most of the rolling stock we have are locos, 
but it'll be nice to do something different. Many thanks in advance, The Blue Fox, Tom. P.S. I'm also a fan of full-size trains, probably not as much. Um, I especially love steam engines, especially the A4 Pacifics like Mallard. Um, P.P.S. If you search for Tom or The Blue Fox on YouTube, you should be able to find my channel. I have a few videos. I have a few videos of some local model railway exhibitions I've been to this year, and I'm, and you might like to watch them. You'll probably recognise the name from some comments, uh, and you don't have to cover up my YouTube channel. I welcome anybody that wants to check it out. Well, I'll put your. Um, I'll check out your channel and I'll put it in the description below. I will not forget this time. So thank you very much, Tom, for sending that in. Wow, quite a letter. We're going to have to speed up, guys. But a coach for Crew Works. Wow. It's uh, certainly busy down there. So I'll put that to one side and get working on that later. Next up, we've got another envelope. This one's come from Cumbria. So the Lake District. A beautiful part of the world. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, oh wow, <laughs> look, he's done some DIY top trumps. There's a couple of Airfix flying hours there. I think you can get a free kit if you send those in, I think. Uh, Dear Will slash IC82 from Douglas Hodgson. You opened my last letter in February. Thank you so much for what you said about my letter and card. It made me incredibly happy to see your reaction. You said for me to get in touch about going to S&J Models on, the 14th, on my 14th birthday. Unfortunately, my parents do not want to drive down it is quite a, yeah. It is quite a long way if you're in the Lake District. Uh, plus, I think they're still shut because Sue was poorly. I'm not sure if they're open again. Always, always check the S and J Models website before you go, or give them a call. Um, in fact, I recommend that for any model shop. Always give them a call before you set out, just to avoid disappointment. Plus, I'd like to ask if you prefer chicken or pork. <laughs> uh, that's a little bit odd. It depends what the source is. <laughs> I'd also like to mention that I admire Connor for what he is going through and think that he is an amazing person for fighting cancer. Yes, uh, Connor Creasy, the really nice lad who sent in the A4. No, sorry, not the A4, the Q1. And he sent in some Pullman coaches that I ran behind the A4. Uh, yeah, he's doing very well. Uh, the last I heard is that he's uh, he's got quite a few checks and scans to have, but he's he's... He's doing fine. He's a, he's a strong lad. Uh, that here are some of my pictures of my layout. Also, in the card I sent to you, please note that I made sure the number on the 58 is the same as your oldest one. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was his address. My life's ambition is to restore a steam engine, and when that happens, I will run it on the main line, and I shall drive it, and if you wish, you can ride for free. <laughs> a good dream to have. It's a good goal, definitely go for it. Um, at the moment, my favourite my favorite tank engine is the LNER V3. Oh my gosh, I think he's included a photo. I think that's, is that the V3 there? I'm not too sure. Uh, I would love to see a GNRC1 on your channel. Gosh, my fleet includes an LNER A3, an A4, and a P2. Um, oh, and then he's also got a Fowler 4F, an O4 OST. I think everyone's got one, O4 OST, a pocket rocket. Um, he's also got a Batman 56XX, a V2, and a B1. Old locos my dad gave me were an, LA, an A4, a 3F, a Princess Royal, a 9F. Gosh, you've got loads, Douglas. I would love to see your proper layout sometimes. I think it will be amazing. Do you have another job as well as YouTube? And is Lisa a maths teacher? <laughs> Lisa is a maths teacher. Yes, that is what she does. She's very, very good at it. And I did have, well I kind of do have another job, although I'm winding it right down. I'm basically a, a website uh, designer and IT consultant. I did that for quite a few years. And I still have some clients, I still have some work that I'm handing over. But I am winding it down uh, to try and do this uh, full time, basically. That's what Google want me to do anyway. In part 14 of the Minecraft project, I noticed that the pattern on the floor of the mining is the shape of a creeper. Very well spotted. I think you're the only person who said. I hope that you do not mind if I send you letters frequently. No, I feel free. It might take a while for them to get read, though. I am sending more flying hours for you, and a homemade pack of steam locomotives, which I, find, which I have made myself. Ah, that is really sweet, Douglas. Thank you so much for sending that in. And we must absolutely check out your top trumps right now. So, let's do this. Okay, there we go. Wow. Look at these! He's done loads! So, there's an LNER E1, an LNER A2, 
And then there's an A3, there's an A4, there's a Y7, a 6399 Fury. And look, he's included the boiler pressure, uh, the wheel diameter, number made, number of cylinders, fuel capacity, and tractive effort for each one. So you gen genuinely could play these like top trumps. I'm being sent in so much cool stuff. We've got a Merchant Navy class, an LNER A5. Oh, good. I'm glad to see he's included a Princess Royal. There better be a Black, a black Five in here. Otherwise, I'm never talking to you again. <laughs> I'm joking. An LNER B17, a GWR Hall class, a V2, a Pannier Tank, an A1, a GWR 14XX. They're cute, aren't they? I like those. Um, an LNER J11. Just done one of those. Uh, a D11. Uh, Princess Coronation, uh, GWR Mana Class, an LNER K1, and lots of lots of an uh, LNER. Hey, an LMS Black Five, my favourite Steam Loco ever. Well done. We can continue to be friends. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. An LNER H2, an F1, an LNER U1, a GWR 2800. Um, I think these need laminating, don't they? An LNER P2, a review on that to come up, a C1, an Ivet 2MT, a Castle class, a B1, I haven't already had one of those, um, and an S and DR locomotion. Wow, that is so cool. Thank you so much, Douglas, for sending that in. Please feel free to send in whatever you want to. Um, I'm going to get these laminated, I think, and I'll show you in the next video just how cool they are once they've been laminated. So, yeah, look out for that. I'll put all that to one side and add those to my collection. Thank you. Um, next up, we've got another letter. This has come from, uh, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know. It doesn't say. Sometimes it says, but uh, not in this case. Oh my gosh, what's this? Wow, this is a little bit of everything. Um, okay, here we go. Dear IC82, my name is Charlie Hugh Cox and I wrote to you before I am nine, and I am typing this now because my writing isn't very clear. I've attached a picture for you of my railway and some trains. I'm going to a model railway exhibition with my granddad. Um, I live close to the West Somerset Railway at Bishop's Lidge Yard and visit a lot. They have two really good model railways. They also run steam engines to Minehead, which I often go on with my granddad, who is also a signalman at Blue Anchor Signal Box, a station on the West Somerset Line. I like the mailroom video on May week two because it had my letter I wrote. Ah. From your biggest fan in Taunton, Charlie. Well, Charlie, thank you much for sen thank you so much for sending in another letter. I do know the West Somerset Railway line. I've, I've been there um, a couple of times. It's really, really nice. And yes, he has included a photo of a loco there, but it's really dark. And really hard to make out. Um, oh gosh, look, you can even see the control panel on the layout. Now that is serious stuff. I like that. Um, this is my layout, he's putting on the back. I think that's a photo of looking down the down the line. But again, really dark, Charlie. The exposure needs to be a bit brighter. Uh, this is a view from the line down below. Oh, wow, a Class 37. Beautiful. Aren't they nice? I really do love the Class 37. Is it, are they called English Electric Type 2s? Or is it Type 3s? I can never remember. Um, this is my Class 37. Looks like a V-Trains one. Anyway. Uh, thank you very much, Charlie, for sending that in. I'll put that into my collection. And next up, we've got something that's come from abroad. It's come from Australia. Again, it's got this random old lady on the front. No idea who she is. No idea. I think she's a, like a queen or something, but I, I don't know. It's just a rumor. Ah, uh, wow. Look how colorful that is. Gosh. Indian Pacific number 25. Oh my gosh, that is, that is, I mean, that is colourful. I think that's the most colourful thing I've ever been sent. Wow. And is that, that is that Ayers Rock? Is that Ayers Rock in the background? Because it's come from Australia and I know Australia is famous for Ayers Rock, that massive <laughs> random like mini mountain in the middle of nowhere. Um, oh my gosh, look, he's even done my logo. That is so ace. Uh, dear NCT2, intercity, can't even say my own name. Dear ICT2 slash Will, my name is Blaine, uh, sorry, Blake, and I am your biggest fan in Australia. I have my own double gauge railway on my pool table. I've got an old InterCity 125, Smokey Joe, um, is that a J11, another 040, uh, and a Great Western something. 
Um, I've drawn you a logo from your biggest fan, Blake, aged nine. Uh, on the back, I have drawn the Indian Pacific, which is, fam is, a, is a famous Australian train. Ah, thank you so much, Blake. That is really, really cool. I love the logo. I love it when anyone um, draws the logo and stuff. That is really good. And then that. Well, that is definitely colourful. Please do tell me if I'm right. Is that Ayers Rock? It looks like it could be Ayers Rock. And as for that loco, gosh, what a beast. I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to visit Australia and the USA uh, again and Canada and South Africa and Israel and Russia. And I'm just going to have to go everywhere, aren't I? Wherever there are trains, I'm going to have to go. Whoa, jump cut. Sorry folks, um, but in editing it was noticed that this box that's come from the USA actually had the address written all over the side of it. <laughs> and uh, there was nothing I could do in editing. I was like this, like, ooh, yeah, look, look at the trains, ooh. ooh. I mean, I might as well just slap it all over the screen where this guy had uh, sent the trains from. So it would, just to make things simpler, I've had to come back down and edit, um, edit, uh, um, refilm just this little bit and then we'll cut back to the original recording. <laughs> I don't believe it. I was just about to open it up and show you the proof that it's come from the USA. Look, you can see there, uh, United States Parcel Service, um, sorry, Postal Service. But, um, yeah, there was even the address there as well. I mean, uh, is the address actually anywhere else? Because I've already had to scrub out three copies of it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is lethal. Right, anyway, quickly moving on. Um, there are a couple of locomotives in here. We've got a Pennsylvania diesel loco, which is, well, it's a switcher, isn't it? It's a shunter of sorts. And then a bit further in, buried under 8 million tons of bubble wrap, we have another locomotive. This is a steam one. Again, Pennsylvania, and it's just a little short 040 switching loco of some sort. A shunter. We call them shunters over here, but I think over there they're called switchers. Um, I think. I probably got that wrong. I usually get most things wrong. Gosh, look, the address again, but it's covered up. It's okay, we're fine. Dear, I say to, um, dear Will, I'm overjoyed to be sending you this engine. Ever since I was little, I've been dreaming of going to England and going to York or Didcot to see the amazing engines that England, that, well, he says that built England, and he's right. England built them, and they built England. It's a, it's a two-way thing. You have helped me feel as if I can see them in all, <laughs> all in a nutshell, whilst being over the pond. But what makes me the most happy is that you take the time and effort to talk to your subscribers and allow them to send you orphaned locos. <laughs> Thanks for the opportunity, Austin Smith, 14 years old. P.S. If you have Google Earth, I want you to search for Brookville, PA, to see where this guy came from. He's included his address at the bottom. <laughs> His address is everywhere. Uh, oh gosh, what a nightmare. But it's okay, it's fine. Um, he says the logo has no instructions. It's a DC model, it has no traction tires. They don't have, well, he talks about NEM couplings, but they're not NEM couplings. I'm not, maybe he's trying to tell me they don't have them, but you can fit them, I'm not too sure. They have this like really bizarre sort of, well, it's kind of like a knuckle coupler, but it's not a knuckle coupler. Um, he says he's included one of his steam engines, it needs a bit of a, uh, well, he says it basically needs some TLC, uh, it needs to go to crew works, something to do with the drive gear. Um, the diesel, I think he says is absolutely fine, just needs running in, and he apologises for his messy handwriting. <laughs> well, Austin, thank you so much for sending such cool locos from so far away. I mean, they literally have crossed the ocean. I'll put them both into crew works. We'll definitely have a look at the drive gear on this one for you, and we'll see what we can do. As for the diesel, I'll get it running in, and I'll film some videos on it. I do have some American rolling stock, as you know, and I do plan to get some more. So I'll make some videos on that, thank you, and get it all sent back to you. What's really cool with this one is, look, you can see the motor in the back. Look at that huge beast. Well, actually, it's not that big, but the way they, the way they put the motor in the cab and then pointed it right down. How, I mean, such a bizarre design. Um, and the manufacturer's model power, I think. I assume this is the correct box. I don't know. So yeah, really, really cool. And as I say, this had to be, this whole little bit had to be filmed again because of the um, addresses being all over the place.
Right, okay, so cutting back to original footage, three, two, one. Okay, so really quickly, this is the very last thing for this particular video, and it's a letter that has come from, oh gosh, no idea. In fact, they've not even stamped the envelope. I could use that again. <laughs> uh, no idea where it's come from. Let's open it and find out. Okay, ah, oh, it's nice and short and sweet. Dear IC82, dear Will, my name is Liam. I'm 11 years old. You made my railway, uh, my model railway, be big. I have two car Pendolino. Uh, sorry about the scribble. I have Thomas, I have Batman, a train, and lots more um, from Liam. Oh, wow. Well, it sounds like your collection's growing already. And for 11 years old, that's really good. It's probably as much as I had when I was 11 years old or something. Um, the Pendolino is a fantastic little starter train, and if you've got some Backman stuff as well, then it means you're really getting into the hobby, so that's dead good. Uh, thank you for sending that in, Liam. Maybe if you want to take some photos one day and tweet them to me, or send in a couple of printouts or something, that'd be really cool. And I could show everybody in the world. World, meet Liam. Liam, meet the world. <laughs> right, well thank you, thank you so much, folks, for um, sticking with me for the whole duration of the video. I'm going to get all of that sorted now, get this edited, and then get into that garage and do some Model Railway Village.